on this video guys i'm going to be telling you about five things just five five things that you need to do in order for you to ensure that you are going to have a productive year in 2023 remember this is only in 2023 but you can actually use it for the next coming years in order to have productive year and basically a productive life where you're able to achieve your goals and you're able to live the life of your dreams having a productive year does not mean that you've got a lot of tasks done throughout the course of the year but it means that you've been mindful of how you basically use your time and worked hard not even hard but worked hard and smart to ensure that you set yourself up for the freedom that you are looking for or you've set yourself up for the life that you want to be able to live. If you are joining us for the first time, please click the subscribe button down below to join the Mentorship Corner family. Click on the notification bell so that you will be notified with every time we upload new content. To my Mentorship Corner family, welcome back guys. Um, welcome to another episode where we're going to learn and grow together. So to get right into today's video, I have five things that are very, very important that you need to do in order to have a productive year ahead. So it's basically, you can call it five steps, five things, but it's going to help you to have a productive and successful year, right? The first one is basically you need to have a clear vision of your future life or a clear vision of your ideal life. I call this the bigger picture. So you need to do a vision board of a future you. So for example, for me, I would do a future me vision board. It would have to be a Porsche there somewhere. It would have to be a cute little house and a farm. And obviously like a stationary shop, what, what, for the mentorship corner. That's just like me bouncing off ideas with you guys. So do a vision board with actual pictures of your ideal life. If you want to select um, add a time frame into it, you are more than welcome to do that. But have a vision board that you have that says, okay, fine, this is what the future me looks like. This is how she or he dresses. This is how, this is what they drive. This is where they live. This is how much money they make in a month. This is how much money they've got in their bank account. They've got a family maybe, or they've got a business, whatever it is, put it on that vision board because that's where you're gonna be working backwards from. So once you have that done, you're gonna then start planning your life backwards. So from that vision board all the way back to where you are now, then you will know what steps you need to take in order to achieve that ideal self. The second thing or the second tip that you need to basically do in order to have a productive year is you need to build good habits by making micro shifts on your daily routine. So this is very, very, very important. It's actually one of the key things on how to build new routine and how to break your old routines. Um, the author of Atomic Habits calls it um, atomic habits. It's like small minor things that you do on a daily basis in order to break your old habits and to build your new habits. So one, do small things on a daily basis to start building your new habits i'll give you a typical example if you want to have a life an active lifestyle instead of trying to run 10 kilometers a day um if when whereas you've never ran before try by doing one or two kilometers or three kilometers and take it easy and take it slow don't beat yourself up about your pace at the, in the meantime because you are basically trying to build a habit and a discipline to run on a daily basis or on a regular basis in order for you to start building that um, momentum and so that you'll be able to make it like to 10 kilometers a day or 20 kilometers a day and you'll be able to be able to then start working on your pace so it's those small things so start by doing 10 kilometers a day or if you want to maybe 
eat more plant-based meals start by maybe going plant-based for half the day where your breakfast is plant-based and your lunch is plant-based and then in the evening you can have your steak or you can have your chicken fillet however you want it to be but start small small things that are so easy for you to do that you don't feel like you are building a new habits. You don't feel like you are like constantly trying something new, but it's like small minor shifts and micro shifts that propel you to that habit that you want, but you don't feel like that drastic change that some people generally like fall in the trap of so that it's easier for you to ease into it. And before you know it, you will have would have built that habit over the next couple of months or the next couple of years the second thing you want to do under this tip is that you want to build an easy to follow process this is very very important if i want to bake um let's say muffins the first thing i will do is i will line out all my ingredients so that everything is out there in the open i will do all the measurements so that when it's time for me to actually start mixing i don't have to start by counting how many eggs i need no the eggs that have been beaten right there um are already the eggs that i'll need for the the the, the dough that i make that i'm making so it makes it so easy because i have such a simple process where i've outlined everything and all i need to then do is just like take everything as per the recipe and just like throw it into the bowl and start mixing up and then i'll have my um, muffin butter and i'll start my baking so the same thing with your routines don't make it very difficult for you to follow make it so simple that it's so easy for you to follow and it's not easy for you to default and go back to your normal default settings with that said, I have a full video on how you can build routines. I'm going to link it on the description box down below and it's going to be on the information, information cards um, throughout the course of the video. The third tip is basically, third tip or third step is basically finding what you love. So I've written here, find what you love and let it kill you. Not in a bad way, but basically I'm trying to explain that you need to find one, what you are passionate about. And then two, you need to figure out what are things that are important, like in your big goals and your big dreams, what are things that are so important that you are willing to go through the suffering for? And what are things that you are not willing to go through the suffering for the things that you're not going to willing to go through the sufferings for are most life things that are not that, that important in your in your life so don't focus on them that much but focus on the things that you are willing to put in the hard work you are willing to put in the hard hours because you know that the reward for those things in the end is going to be way more worth it for your life and way more worth it for your ideal life and your ideal vision for yourself the second thing is basically find your passion because as much as we don't want to say this a lot but your passion does become your purpose i do youtube because i enjoy it and i know that as the channel grows at some point i may start making profits but i love it because i love speaking i love educating people so find that which you love and work on it and spend time doing stuff that you love that you're passionate about because your passion becomes your purpose the fourth thing is basically reduce your financial anxiety i cannot stress this enough um we shy away from financing from time to time because it is a bit of an, of an uncomfortable topic especially if you like myself still starting out um i'm like towards my late 20s now a bit better now financially but when i was starting out the financial conversations was just it was something that i didn't want to talk about the only thing i wanted to talk about was savings because that's what i had learned growing up as per my grandmother's teachings but everything else like your credit score like how what you need to take into account when you're getting your first car buying a house like all these other term financial terms and financial information that you need to acquaint yourself with it's not nice to talk about especially if you don't have the money and the means to be able to do these things but it's things that are important because you need to sort out your financial anxiety so that you'll be able to attain the financial freedom later on in your life as you grow and as you progress so the first thing that i need you to do is pay off your debt um, if you've got debt pay try to pay it off as soon as possible especially those high interest um 
type of debt like your credit card um what's the other one like i feel like store accounts should fall under that because i had an edgar's account and that thing just it never died down it always it always had like ridiculous amounts of interest and i end up closing it down so all those um dates that have a higher interest maybe your student loan for example try to pay it off so that you can pave way and have some money left over for your savings and investments which is basically the next thing that you're going to do so you pay off your debt especially your high interest paying debts first first and then you start building up capital for your savings and for your investments um, the next thing that you want to do is basically have an idea of what retirement looks like for you so have an idea of how you want to retire when you want to retire and what's the money tactics around that so that you can start working on that now over to tip number five and the last tip for this video is i need you to live um, and enjoy the journey understand that um, you have to be intentional about being present in the current moment because the person that you are today is the person that you have been working to become for the past couple of years. So appreciate that, live in the moment and enjoy the journey. Remember that success, which for you would be your ideal self and your ideal life, it's a journey, it's a process. It can take you 10 years, it could take you 20 years it could take you five years it could take you three years however long it takes you it's still going to be a journey and there's going to be great moments in the journey there's going to be down moments in the journey you have to be intentional about being present in all the moments enjoy the journey enjoy the process and then enjoy obviously the fruits of your work that is it from today's video i love you guys absolutely a lot don't forget to like share and subscribe on the description box down below there's going to be a link to check out our merch and also a link to check out some of the common videos that can work for you from this video um, to help you to plan and have a productive year i love you guys absolutely a lot don't forget to like share and most importantly do not forget to subscribe to join our family bye guys